What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to use actual pointers in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so a lot of you guys probably didn't know that we can use actual pointers in Python the way we would use them in C. And this is something that is not recommended. This is something that is not used very often. It has some security issues but it is technically possible to use actual pointers in Python, at least in the most common C Python implementation, the Python implementation based on C. And before we get into the pointers, let me just show you what you can do in Python, uh, which is not using pointers, it's more like using references, but what is possible is you can say, first of all, uh, I can say A equals 10, and I can say B equals 10, and what you will notice, if you use the ID function in Python, if you call the ID function on A and on B, is that those two values here, those two variables are pointing to the same memory. So we're actually pointing to a memory location that has the value 10 instead of having a variable A with a value 10 and a variable B with a value 10. This is different from C. So if I open up here a C file, if I say main.c, and I just implement a very basic C program, so stdioh int main, if I go ahead now and I create here um, the variable int a equals 10 and int b equals 10, and then I just print f um, the pointer to a, and I do the same thing for b, and then I return 0. If I take this program here, and I'm going to open up my Windows subsystem for Linux here, in order to compile this because I don't think I have a compiler on my Windows system. I'm going to just uh, navigate to this directory, I'm going to say gcc main.c. Let me just put this here so you can see it. Main out. Now if I run main out. Um, okay, we need to also add a backslash n so that we don't mix those. So if I now rerun this, compile and run, you can see that those are actually two different memory locations. This is how C works. In Python, we have the same object um, in memory and we're just pointing two times to the same object. And we can also not just go ahead and say now uh, B equals A and then when I change B to 20, uh, or we cannot do something like B equals pointer to a because we don't have pointers in the in the basic ordinary Python, we have to use a special module uh, to use actual pointers. Uh, it is not possible to just assign the value or the reference to a to b and then change b and by changing b changing a or vice versa. This is not possible um, with basic Python. The, the closest thing we can do is we can create a list a one, two, three, for example, and we can say that b is a and then we can say b zero is 100. So the first element of the list is 100. And then if I print a, we're going to see that the change was applied here as well. So this is the closest thing that we can do. Um, but we can also use actual pointers by using the C types module, which is a core Python module. So we can just import C types. And this module allows us to create actual pointers, uh, the way we would do it in C. So how we do that is we just create a simple integer, I'm going to call this a again, and we're creating it by saying C types dot C underscore int, and then we pass a value, for example, 200 to it. Um, and we can first of all, print this object here. So you can see it's a C long 200, it converted it into a long. Um, but uh, we can also say dot value to get the actual integer value. So if we call the type function on this, you can see this is a basic Python integer. But if I don't call the value, you can see this is a C types C long. And with this C type C long, and we can actually make this a long right away so that it doesn't have to implicitly convert it. Uh, with this C long, we can now use pointers. So we can create another one, we can say PTR equals C types dot, and then pointer to point to this A variable. And then I can print the pointer here. And you can see we have this uh, LP object, and I can actually go ahead now and um, also give you the type which will probably give us the same thing LP C long. Um, but we can now through this pointer access the content of 
the variable or of the object it is pointing to. So I can actually say ptr.contents to see what is actually stored um, at this address that we're pointing to. So just ptr.contents and I can also of course get the value of this um, element that I'm pointing to and I can also get the address of the thing that I'm pointing to. So I can just say print C types dot address off and then PTR dot contents. This basically gives me the address of the thing that I'm pointing to. Uh, and you can see this is the address here. So this is how you get that. Um, and we can of course also that's uh, probably the use case of the pointers here. Uh, we can also change the content of the variable that we're pointing to using the pointer. So we can just say PTR dot contents, and then uh, dot value equals and then I can say 300 and I can print a afterwards and you can see now it's a C long 300 we used a pointer to change the value of a so this is exactly what we would do in C In C we would say uh, int a equals 10 and then int pointer equals and a pointing to a we would print the value of a so without this we print it twice but in between we say ptr equals 20 for example in this code in C, let me just compile this again. So we're going to navigate again to the directory, we're going to go again to current GCC main main dot C out main dot out. And you can see 1020 We change the value using the pointer. So this is how you do it in C. This is how you do it in Python. It's essentially the same thing. We're running C essentially. So Python, C Python is built on C. So we can do the same things. We can just create a simple variable. We can create a simple long, we can point to it, we can get the value using the pointer, we can change the value and we can also get the address. Um, and this is essentially how you do it. You can also do something else though, you can take this address and manually let a pointer point to that address. So I can say PTR new, for example, and I can say C types dot cast and this cast function allows me to just enter an address. Um, and then it will point to that address. So I can say PTR address equals and then I can say uh, C types dot address off. And the important thing is you don't want to take the address of the pointer itself because the pointer itself is also stored in the memory, you want to take the address of the thing that the pointer is pointing to because if I just pass the address to the pointer, I'm now addressing the pointer itself, I want to address the value that the pointer is pointing to, or the, the variable, the object that the pointer is pointing to. So we're going to get the address of the contents of the pointer. And this address we will then pass to this cast function. And we also need to pass a data type, which is going to be um, pointer C types dot C long, and then we can print PTR new dot contents dot value. And you can see this works as well. So this is how you use actual pointers in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.